Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsus and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Uh, and I don't know about you, but in the last few uh, videos, uh, we built quite a few farms, and I feel I need to do something different. So uh, today we will uh, prepare for a future project. We need to collect a few things because we want to have a farm for this wood and the red one. And for that we need uh, the warped nylon, which we lifted off uh, Endermen. Uh, who's carrying it? Uh, but I think we are still missing a comma. We are still missing the red variant. So uh, that's it's, uh, uh, what we do first. And while I head over to the nether, you can think about how we possibly can achieve that without mining any blocks that we have not placed because that's the premise of this series now there are potential options how we could get a red nihilium block on our hands we could try to use an enderman uh, by either luring an enderman over there because they of course spawn in this biome not in that one and entice them to pick up a block there or we could try to get the red nylium over here and then do the same thing but how would we go about uh, spreading the red nylium. Well, we can do this. Let's make sure. Oh, there are hoglands. So let's let's deal with those first. Because if they come running, that's no fun. Let's open here. You're still not dead. Now you are. So we have red nylon here, and we can do this. But then we could also place a few blocks of our own like this bone meal that and of course this block as we place it ourselves I can break it so let's gather a few two should be enough open the trap door there maybe remove those and with these two I can then make more with netherrack and bone meal but maybe let's not do that here in the nether where it's uh, unnecessary dangerous the other thing that we need for that farm is ancient debris which can be found deep in the nether, in the netherrack. Uh, you need lots of explosions to expl uh, expose it, uh, which would be fine since we can uh, not mine the netherrack uh, anyway. However, uh, the reason why we need ancient debris is because it's blast resistance which means we cannot harvest it by breaking but there is one other source 
for ancient debris, we can find it in loot chests in uh, bastions, which is dangerous business. That's why I created one of this a respawn anchor that we can set up near the bastion, uh, feed it with glowstone. So if we should die, uh, we get back to near where uh, we died and hopefully can collect our items uh, as long as we, prob we probably should also set up an ender chest nearby uh, to get to backup gear to make the whole process easier. So I think or yeah probably the rest of this episode is a bit of a montage of uh, different uh, bastions because I need about 20 ancient debris and that could be quite a lot of uh, bastions that I have to visit and maybe not everything will fit in this one episode but we will see how much we get till the end of this one so see you then
with our successful foray into the nether i think it is party time so uh, let's craft a jukebox and put in one of the discs that we have found right and then we can look what we have found quite a few discs uh, I only took one banner, there were of course more, quite a bit of gold, also in block form, some apples, um, gold blackstone, obsidian, prime obsidian, new gold carrots, miscellaneous items, and of course, five netherite ingots, and ten scrap that we can turn in a single scope that gives us two more tickets and 24 ancient degree uh, when we only needed 19. So I think this will do nicely uh, for our project that we have planned. Until then, goodbye!